Lesson 15-3 says writing equations from verbal descriptions. In this lesson, there is only one section, just question number one, which is about six questions in itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. Suppose that the speed limit on all parts of the interstate has now been changed to 70 miles an hour. Travis finds that he can now average between 50 miles an hour and 70 miles an hour on his trip between Pecos and Dallas. Write an equation that expresses Travis's distance D from Dallas as a function of H hours since he left Pecos if his average speed is 50 miles an hour. So here we're still traveling at this um, 450 miles. But this time we're going 50 miles an hour. So we're decreasing by 50 each time. Write an equation that expresses Travis's distance D from Dallas as a function of the hours H since he left Pecos if his average speed is 70 miles per hour. So in this case, we would have D equals still starting 450 miles away from our destination. And this time we're going 70 miles every hour. C, reason abstractly on the grid below, Graph the two equations that you found in parts A and B. Describe how changing the coefficient of H in the equation affects the graph and explain why this makes sense. If we go 50 miles an hour, it's going to take us nine hours to get there. So this graph is going to look something like this line is if we travel 50 miles an hour. Now my question is, if I travel 70, would you expect the time to be shorter or longer? I agree. If I'm traveling faster, I expect to get there in a quicker amount of time. So we're going to do 40 divided by 70. Gives me approximately 6.4. So if we did 40, 450 minus 70... Minus 70, minus 70, minus 70, minus 70. This equation is if we traveled 70 miles an hour. How does changing that coefficient affect the graph? As H increases, the slope of the line gets steeper.
the steeper the line. The greater, oops, the rate of change. which is the speed. D, shade the region of the graph above for all the ordered pairs, H comma D, such that H represents all the possible times and D represents all the possible distance from Dallas after H hours of travel. So we're going to shade these two regions in between, basically. So something like that. I'm going to just put C, graph, above. All right. Take a look at E. Describe Travis's possible distance from Dallas after four hours of travel. Well, if he's traveling at that faster speed, At 70 miles per hour, Travis would be 450, oops, sorry, 450 minus 70 times 4. He would be 170 miles from Dallas. If he's traveling at the slower speed, at 50 miles an hour, we're going to do 450 minus 50 times 4. He could be 250 miles from Dallas. So he's somewhere between 170 miles and 250 miles away. Sorry, that's 170 to 250 miles away. Write an inequality to represent Travis's possible distances from Dallas after four hours. So we would write this as 170 is less than or equal to D which is less than or equal to 250. The reason I use D here is because we're talking about our distance, not the number of hours. Go ahead and get all of this kind of copied down. On the next slide, you're going to see a debriefing question. After you finish your debriefing question, please take a moment to mark this presentation as done.